and the, the big companies and the corporations are the ones that benefit. I get it. But the fact is, a lot of money was passed through in bonuses and raises. Right. And that to me stimulates the income tax. So that's, you know, that's, that's irrelevant to me. The problem, I think, is a bigger problem is the, the low interest rate at nearly a quarter percent, which we have held. I mean, they're at zero. They have proposed negative interest rates, which is absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. well, that's the main issue because it teaches people, largely middle class and poor people, who then go into even further debt when the bubble bursts, to borrow in ways that they should not if the market regulated interest like it should. So that's a much bigger that's a much bigger uh, thing that we have to worry about than regulation. I want to get rid of the regulation, most right. certainly. Right. But it, it, I think the interest rate and you know this is all this is all a charade. I think Trump's making a huge mistake. You know, well, you know, at some point, at some point, well, and then what did you say? It's Obama's fault? No, at some point, the I word, the I word is going to be brought up. Inflation. I get it. I get everything you're saying here, but I think at the same time, if GDP is rising and more jobs are being created, that's more revenue for our country, and and people are bringing bringing in a lot of money that was on the sidelines sitting in other countries. And I think that that is what we ought to be looking at. Uh, who's who's bringing money back? Who's investing in America? And it just was not happening at the clip we have now uh, with Donald Trump being president. I mean, that's what we have to. I understand what you're saying as an economist. When it goes, he's got nothing. It's going to go. This is just a game. I, I don't think he realizes it. Well, I, I think I think that he, I do think he understands money better than most of these other, other presidents have. So let's right, see what happens. He contradicted himself. He contradicted himself from what he used to say in the campaign when he did uh, criticize the Federal Reserve. Now he says he likes the dollar because then we can transport our money and their number one import all around or export all around the world. Mm -hmm. And when when people start accepting those dollars as the reserve currency of the world, we are going to feel it good. Trust me, you. If, if this thing's all a charade. If it it's does happen, Pat, I do believe you. We will feel the pain. But let's 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 have some optimism here for this country, and uh, let's see what happens as my president moves forward. But thanks for calling me, in, my friend. I do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. So are we going to break right now, Jerome? Or we got we got some time? Yeah. All right. So listen. We come back from the break. I'm gonna come to Bernie, Walter, Michael, and JJ. Appreciate my people watching out, looking out on Facebook, You're listening to the Wayne Bradley Show on 9 to a.m. Your Superstation. We'll be right back.